They were able to uh, worship Allah in safety. And then later on, the king actually, he embraced Islam, he accepted Islam. Have you, have you come across that before? Ethiopia, the birthplace of mankind, the land of origins. Yeah. Christianity is a religion on their basis. I mean, you have a lot of Christians there, but you have a lot of Muslims as well. Christianity is their basis. Okay. The church is uh, built on the ground. Yeah, I, I see that. I, I forgot the name of it. It's something beginning with L, isn't it? It is it, it, it's a, it's an amazing structure. Yeah. I think it's unique, isn't it? There's nowhere else like that in the world. First church. Uh -huh. But the thing is, what do you actually, what do you believe in when you say you're a Christian? You believe in the Trinity? Well, there is a Trinity. My Trinity is I was born in England. Yeah. My parents are Jamaican. Ethiopia is the birthplace of mankind. So the road to Abyssinia uh -huh. went to Jamaica and Windrush brought us here. So that's my Trinity there. Okay. But other people have their Trinities, like for example, the Egyptians have their Trinity. Yeah. Uh, everybody has their else. I see you getting prepared for your day. I want you to have a good day. No problem, no problem. But have you looked into Islam before? Of course, it's all around there. Okay. But you believe in one God or you believe that... There is there's only one God. God what what God about... Almighty. And what do you believe about Jesus? Do you believe he's a messenger or he was God? He was designed to save the West from perishing. If you go back in time, look at the state of the economy there, he was there to deliver a message from Ethiopia to the West and continues to do that to this day. And what was his message, do you think? The word of God. Okay. See, the thing is, some people, they will say Jesus, he is God, or he's the son of God, and he came to die for mankind. As Muslims, we believe Jesus was a messenger. He was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel to call them back to worship one God, to follow the law which Moses came with. But we don't believe that Jesus is God. Jesus is Lord, our Lord and Saviour. There's only one God, uh -huh. God Almighty. And Jesus is not God or he is God? He's Lord, Okay. our Lord and Saviour. See, the thing is, Lord, it can be someone of status, it can be someone of like a ruler, a king, but it doesn't necessitate that the Lord is God. Uh, I agree, I, I don't think I claim to that. There is only one God. Yes, who Jesus worshipped. Who Jesus worshipped. The good Lord Almighty, yes. Okay, yeah, that's, that's the message of Islam. And we believe that's the same message which Moses brought, which Noah brought. But we would say that Christianity has made the messenger into God. The wrong message. He, he's not the God, he's our Lord and Saviour, and he's our Lord and Saviour because he continues to save people uh, against persecution, against famine, against death. He uh, continues to save, regardless of colour, race, religion. He saves unilaterally. How does he save them? The word of God, which is relevant to the situation at the time. Like, for example, when you say the word of God, for us, we say that the, the speech of God is the Quran. We believe that other messengers like Moses received the Torah. We believe David, he re received the Zabur, which is known as the Psalms. We believe Jesus was given a gospel, which is not the same as the New Testament, the 27, 27 books of the New Testament. But we believe those books have been changed or forgotten or things have been added to it and they haven't been preserved. Whereas the speech of God, the word of Allah, the Quran, we believe this is the last book sent down for all mankind, regardless of race, nationality, regardless for all mankind, is the Qur'an. This is the preserved book. The birth of all mankind came from Ethiopia. So any time you want uh, further information on that, you can ask them. Yeah. That's where all humans come from, all life, came from Ethiopia, the land of origin. What makes you say that? It's a fact. Okay. Ask the Ethiopians. Anytime you see an Ethiopian say uh -huh. Ethiopia is the birthplace of mankind, land of origin, and they will pick up their spirit. Because that's where all humans come from. They didn't come from the West, they didn't come from uh -huh. South Asia, they didn't come from West Africa. But the thing is, all, all of us obviously we came from one man and from, from one woman. Adam and Eve. Or in Arabic say Hawa, Adam and Hawa. But what is the purpose of us being in this life? Right, re regardless of what country we're from or where we're born, like you said, Jamaica. Ethiopia, England, regardless of where we're from, because we've all been created by one God, there must be a purpose why he created us, regardless of where we're from or where mankind is from. Yes, and uh, we have to exercise that instead of uh, 
preaching division, blaming the West. Uh -huh. And our job is to save all people, regardless of whether they're faith or, uh -huh. or whatever. But when you say save, save from what? Well, there's, uh, and how do, you, how do you save them? Well, first of all, you have to learn about them to save them. You have uh -huh. to know about them. So, yeah, generically speaking, a lot of people are at too many points of taxation. So you learn accounting and uh -huh. you remove a burden from them. There's people that who have ailments and feel like, say, um, tablets on the way forward. So uh -huh. you learn that and then you deliver nutritional support, cognitive behavioural therapy. So relative to each individual person, you can't just like, say, yeah, no, I'm going to do this for everyone. You have to take your time to walk to someone, find out their individual needs, uh -huh. develop your skills to a stage where you can ease that burden from them. I agree, different people have different needs, different situations, but at the same time, as Muslims we believe, or the Quran has informed us, that all mankind, they have one purpose. Allah mentions uh, in the Arabic, Allah has informed us that he did not create jinn, which is a separate creation, and mankind except to worship him, meaning that mankind should recognize the one true God and they should and they yes and they should submit to him and live their life the way he wants obviously other pe people they have needs in terms of uh, wealth in terms of a place to live in terms of health etc but this central uh, purpose is for all mankind and this can only come through uh, from revelation and from following messengers so we say for example in the time of Moses in order for a person to be right with God and a person to be saved, ultimately saved in this life and in the life to come, they would have to worship one God alone and follow the teachings of Moses. If now, approximately 1,400 years later, when Jesus came, if a person said, and Jesus was sent to them and said, I'm only going to follow Moses, I reject Jesus, we would say, once you reject a messenger, you have rejected the one who sent him. So now after Jesus, 600 years later, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he came. And in the Quran, it mentions uh, chapter 7, uh, verse 158, where he was commanded by God, but commanded by Allah, Qul, ya ayyuhannas, inni rasulullahi ilaykum jami'an. O mankind, O mankind, I, ya nas, sorry, that I am the messenger of Allah sent to all of you. So we say that all mankind now, regardless of who they are, wherever they're born, until now, until the day of judgment, they have to accept the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as the final messenger. That's what the Quran says. Yes, that's what the Quran says. See, but the thing is, obviously, people, they say different things. But a human being has been given, you know, reason, he's been given, you know, mental capacity to weigh things up, to study. And whoever makes a claim, the claim has to be supported by evidence. Agreed. And the evidence and the facts lead us to Ethiopia being the birthplace of mankind. Uh -huh. If you follow Ethiopia, yeah. through to West Africa, through to Asia, yeah. down to the Americas, yeah. down to Europe, around to here, you have a circular economy. Uh -huh. and that's what should be happening. People here should be able to face East Africa easy to so just facing Europe or facing America. And uh -huh. if you're in Asia, if you're in Asia, you're meant to be facing East as uh -huh. well and West as well. Uh -huh. So essentially, the tectonic plates and the circle of the rings, everything falls in line. Yeah. And everybody accepts that East is the origin flows around. Uh -huh. In terms of aid and support, it must go circular. You can't target one direction and say, well, look, X, Y, Z. It has to be circular in its approach. We live in a circular economy, same as the planets. And that's how we stay balanced. That's why I said to you, 50 50, but remaining positive because we all have to be balanced. A circular economy. You can't just point to one direction and say yes, that's it, X, Y, Z. We have to also look bilaterally and trilaterally. Uh -huh. I'm going to let you get on my own. Nice no problem, sir. It was good to meet you. Hopefully, we'll talk again. No problem. Okay, take care. All the best.